Hey fellow gas mask collectors, here's the gas mask guy 96 again and welcome to another gas mask review. So yeah, today I have the Swiss SM74 for you. It was made by Huber and Zuner. It was a civil mask, but also it was issued in the military. So let's first start with the back. Um, I got this mask, by the way, from a fellow collector from Austria, from Fabio Nüssel. He's in the GMCC as well. So yeah, as you can see, the back is held pretty simple. It just has a shoulder strap, no, nothing more. It's made out of rubberized nylon. As we can see from the inside, this is just rubber and not not canvas. So I think it's waterproof. Here we have two pins to close the back, and um, here's some wood piece or metal piece built in to keep it in shape to keep it like this. As you can see I cannot bow it. Now let's look in the inside. As you can see it's pretty simple as well. Just has two um, pieces to keep the equipment in shape. Nothing more in here. So yeah, now let's stop with the mask. Here it is, the Swiss SM74. So yeah, as you can see, I got a, a plastic piece with it to keep it in shape. It's nothing special at all, but <laughs> well, it's good to to keep it in good condition. As you can see, it it has a pretty old model type, like two round eye pieces, not uh, like uh, like the one from the M65. M65 is it right? I'm quite not sure. How do you say dates in English? I'm I'm quite not sure right now. <laughs> do you say M65 or M56? God damn, that's this is confusing me right now. <laughs> I'm sorry. So yeah, let's carry on. Here we have the XL valve and the XL valve cover. Uh, you cannot take it off. You need a special tool from it and have to do it from the inside. Um, I think that's pretty bad when you need to do a a quick change of the um, of the Excel valve, for example, but well, I didn't design this, so meh. Here we have the, Su the Swiss cross. The glass made out of acrylic glass, I think. Yeah, that could be possible. Here we have the inner valve, 40 millimeters reed, made out of plastic. Yeah, here we have a metal string to keep that all in on the place. Some markings. Mine was made in, as you can see, in 1986. And yeah, we can as well unscrew the eyepieces. Just takes, yeah, okay, a bit time to do that. As you can see, just a piece of acrylic glass. And now, yeah, now you can. <laughs> put your hands through it as well. So if you maybe need a mask or a cosplay or something like that, you could use this mask and simply unscrew the eye pieces if it's not disturbing you. So you can easily breathe through the mask and the eye pieces can steam up. Um, why the steaming up of the eye pieces is a problem, I I'll show you that later when we look inside of the mask. Let's first screw this back. Yes, so the mask has a five point head harness made out of um, elastic tech gels. In the middle, we have um, sort of rubber thing to keep it on the head. As you can see, it's pretty simple made, so um, it's nothing special at all, but just the look of the mask is pretty nice. Let's have a look inside. As you can see in the middle, we have uh, the inhale valve, uh, exhale valve, I'm sorry. And at the bottom, this little hole goes through to the uh, inhale valve. These two candles are leading the air as well over the eyepieces to prevent them from steaming up. But 
Uh, that's not working that well. And you need always to do some anti-fog substance on the eye lenses to keep them clear. That's a big problem of this mess. So if this would have a mouse piece or something like that, that would be really awesome. But, well, this is not the newest mask at all. Yeah. Kind of interesting mask, I have to say. Now let's carry on with the filter. It's sealed, as you can see, so in the original package, that makes me kind of happy. You can see some markings. It says, okay, I, I read it like this. Mundfilter LV64 für ABC Schutzmaske. So that actually means something like mouse filter piece LV64 um, for the MBC protective mask. And it stands here in French, uh, fr fr yeah, French and Italian as well, because it's with multiple languages and stuff. Here we have just a serial number and just yeah, some more markings. The interesting thing on the filter is that you can screw another filter to the bottom of it. It's pretty nice, especially if you want to have a, a carbon monoxide filter carbon oxide filter for it if you are in the environment where I don't know maybe there was a fire or something like that um, like I show you on my uh, SCHMS video the NVAR filter, the DP1 filter yeah not much to say about this either here we have a little um, stick to prevent the lens from fogging up unfortunately they become stale very quickly and I can show you yeah they're not they're not um, they have a small storage life yeah that's what I wanted to say but I have some other substances to keep the lenses clear that works pretty good here we have some racks to clean the mask for example and yeah um, because I wanted to want to keep the, the mask as a filter uh, sealed, I will just take a simple hour filter. Uh, so, because this filter <laughs> is not the original one, I first wear the mask without the filter and then with this one. So, yeah. Well, then, I see you next when I'm wearing the mask. So yeah, as you can see, the mask looks kind of <laughs> creepy, kind of awesome, I think. So it's at least that's my opinion. 
I, I really like the look of it. So um, it's really awesome. I like it. Okay, my display just uh, yeah went off. So sorry, <laughs> sorry for the interruption. Well, um, I can really recommend you to buy this mask um, if you have some money left. Uh, you don't of often see them here, so I maybe have to check the Swiss eBay if there's something like that. Never looked on it, but yeah, um, I really like this mask. It's kind of good. It's it's a pity that there is no mouse piece or something like that. But um, well, you can't use this mask is sold. You can't use it in the modern MBC situation anyway. So yeah. It's a nice surplus item though. Yeah, well then, thanks for watching. I hope you liked my video. I hope my English was understandable. And then I see you to the next review or video from me. To then, goodbye. Keep collecting the Cosmos Sky 96.